Well, it's been ages since I did a video, so I thought I'd better do a new one. Um, anyway, we have moved, so we're now at a place that has spring water and yabby ponds. So the old owner was breeding yabbies in here, and um, I was doing a bit of research and looking up, and uh, apparently I was going to have to empty everything and scrape out the mud in the bottom, and I thought, hmm, what's an easy way to do this? So I had a few old solar panels laying around, so I just went on the net and looked up to see if I could find a 12-volt air pump, which I definitely found. So it does only, what, $60 or something? Um, so I've literally got it direct connected to that solar panel. It doesn't matter if it's run at a low voltage, like it's not going to actually affect the motor. Um, so yeah, just direct connected to that. And then I've got my four lines. There's one, well, there's a big one here for the drinking water. And I've got one in this pond over here. And then one in that original pond. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's only, I mean, I was lucky because the solar panels were laying around here, but yeah, only about, so probably about $150. This panel's not very big, only, uh, not even sure, oh, there it is. Yeah, so I can't really tell how much voltage it's got or anything, but um, it's just a little 12 volt panel. And it runs that pump perfectly, so when the sun's fully out, it only spits out about 12 and a half volts with the voltage drop from that um, pump. So, but yeah, I mean, it's the water looks a bit mucky now, but it's actually so full of air. Um, so it's sort of like all the bubbles um, help the bacteria, or the oxygen helps bacteria break anything down that's in there. And um, yeah, I mean the other point of doing it in there is basically having an aeroponics setup. So um, pumping oxygen into the Yabby Dam should help them grow, which means more money, hopefully, when we pull them out and start selling them. Um, so yeah, that's about it. But we've got the exact same thing. Um, I basically stole the old owner's idea, see? So those two panels there run to two solar pumps. And these are literally, um, that's a 24 volt system, but these are 24 volt caravan pumps. So if you get a continuous caravan pump, like a continuous pump for a caravan or RV or whatever, um, just make sure you've got a continuous duty cycle though. You don't want an intermittent one or else um, they'll just come on and go off all the time. It won't really fill the tank up, but um, yeah, no, they work quite well. So... That's another thing you can do with the solar. Um, I've been playing around with all this stuff, so having a bit of fun. But yeah, I mean, this supplies our drinking water to the house. So, um, got four holding tanks between here and the house, so it settles out quite a lot anyway, but I thought, yeah. And it's a natural spring, so it's coming straight out of the ground, and that water's probably about 10 degrees, if that. Um, but yeah, that's about that, and um, quite impressed with myself building this up. But yeah, I mean, with the formula silicon cable, the pump, and the solar panel, um, I got one big air, like an aquarium air hose. The other ones, I just literally tied the air hose around a rock and threw it in there. So um, yeah, very easy to do don't really need to worry about fuses and stuff I mean if you make sure your panels are not going to be putting out too much voltage you don't really need to worry about it I mean that little pumps gonna keep going for a couple of years with any luck um, but yeah I'll keep you updated on it and if anyone wants to know more about the solar pumps I can do another video on that specifically but it's it's I literally an identical system so you could do it with a 12 volt or 24 volts or 48 I mean whatever you want to do but I would probably start with 12 volts just because the pumps are about 50% cheaper than the 24 volt stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, like and subscribe and keep some of these videos coming, I guess. Anyway, have a good one.